Hey, Robbie Lockman here with Harness, and today I'm going to be doing some comparisons with Jenkins X. Now, a little bit of background. I've used Jenkins, but never used Jenkins X. Uh, around a year ago, uh, I was coded in a new stack in an article about some of the differences in Jenkins distributions. But anyhow, this being my first time using Jenkins X, uh, let's go ahead and do some of what we did with the Spinnaker video. Uh, to kind of kick this off, I have an EKS cluster. I call it my fancy EKS. And all I want to do is deploy Nginx. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I actually have the Jenkins X project up here. And so let's see what, how we can go ahead and get started. If I can close that window there. Here's documentation. Getting started. Okay, so latest Jenkins X. I need a command line tool for my platform, then create a cluster, and then follow the instructions, and then I have a Kubernetes cluster. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and do that. So command line tool. Also, I have Mac OS X, so let's go ahead and install, run the brew command. Yeah, I should have terminal up. So I actually created a cluster here called Mot using EKS ETL. Let's go ahead and get that installed. So what Homebrew is installing, let's go ahead and look at some other commands. It's all the binary. I guess we're just going to run that uh, GX version. And when we're done, um, let's see here. So I'm waiting for Homebrew. <laughs> this is uh, also my fault. I should have ran a brew update command uh, before getting started. Homebrew always does this. Took a quick pause there for the steps to be done. Uh, let's go ahead and see um, the last bit if I want to run uh, GX version. Let's see. Hopefully, Brew took care of that for me. Okay, cool. Um, didn't have to do any of that. So, what's the next step here? So, I downloaded the command line tool. Uh, I can create a cluster. Let's see. Um, let's see. So I already have kubectl installed, and let's. I don't know if I need Helm. Is this creating. Oh, I don't need to create a new Kubernetes cluster. I already have one here. Um, install Jenkins Okay, I could do that. Uh, cluster. If you have a cluster, create your own Kubernetes cluster if you want. Yeah, skip and solution, create, skip, see a different shifter form. <laughs> Let's see. Sure, <laughs> I can run the command here, so. Yep, our cluster is up and running. Let's see, I can run the JX boot command, implements. Sure. Go ahead and run that. Um, let's read here. So, boot is a pipeline. Jenkins or is by Tecton. Um, it sounds like it's run JX boot and it would install all for me. Uh, sure. <laughs> why, why not? Fail to interpret pipeline file. Proof. Um, not too sure. This is another sure. Uh, seems you have career. <laughs> Oh, uh, 
Okay, so I need to I need to set this up. Actually, where did it put? Oh, <laughs> let me let me clean this up really quickly. So it looks like it just put it on my user folder. Uh, let's see. It probably did. Um, figure out where this actually got placed. I'll delete it and make a folder for it real quick. Okay, so I actually made a folder for it <laughs> called Jenkins X. Uh, actually, before that, let me go ahead and just record this step so I can share it with everybody. So um, I have a trusty pad here. So let's call it Jenkins X Steps. And this is the uh, CLI install for my OS, there we go. Make sure we, we share this. Uh, let's see here. So I was following the instructions for my platform of choice. Um, a Kubernetes has to be solved by Jake's boot. Purchase Kubernetes, Kubernetes Clareform. I already have one. I have that. I don't need to. <laughs> Create one, I actually used one ahead of time with EKSTTL, uh, which is a fantastic tool. Yeah, let's see. Don't need. <laughs> Whoops, Carmel Cluster Jenkins boot. Sorry, JX boot. Uh, let's see here. JX boot. Installables. I th I think it, um, let's, it failed before. It's gonna it's gonna fail again. So let's just let's just run that. Go ahead and clone that. Minimize that and see what it says here. Masters, uh, I'm going to parse, cluster, interpret. Huh? I can certainly get the namespace. <laughs> I can certainly, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's odd. Yeah, let's see. Read this again. I was talking about your project while you get off in a Jenkins <laughs> following approach. Oh, use, sure. Uh, Mm, so, oops, what was the issue there? Run it again. <laughs> JX boot. Uh, sure. I think it's already out. Try it again. No. That was very strange. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Uh, actually, let's just take a look at what's what's inside that. Yeah, let's see here. I can take it, thanks. It was saying I need to make some sort of change inside of it, so.
Okay, so let's look at the requirements file then. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> Jenkins X install. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if my cluster is compliant. I mean, can I run that? Ooh, Cinnabuy. Good old Heptio. I don't think this stuff is needed. <laughs> 60 minutes. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, I just want to install Jenkins X. Like what? Is there an AWS one maybe? Uh oh, is there one for ECAS? I actually never ran a Cinder buoy test before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to stop it. Uh, can I stop? Is that the same command I just ran? Uh, stop running a test. I don't want it to run anymore. Let's take a cluster resources. Don't like that. Okay, fair. So, um,. Is there a cloud provider? Was there Amazon? I forget where I saw I can set. There was some sort of. Let's just view it. It's a list. Oh, uh, requirements. Okay, so let's open it with. We just saw this on. We just saw this on. <laughs> yes. I think I'm trying to figure out where. Getting started, set up Jenkins tags. Or cloud, okay. Ah, this is what I was looking for. So we need to set up. Let's put these two together. Get installables. It actually might be. Um, configure AWS. Let's put some documentation here. So, basic configuration, cluster config, save cluster config, and JX requirements. I think I was just doing that, so. I think that's what I, uh, cluster, cluster config. Well, 
where do I put it? Please set your provider in via. Okie dokie. Um, did I miss something? Ooh. I'm going to say the provider because they had GKE there for the first time. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. EKS cluster. Um, do I need to pick all these rolls? I don't think so. Oh boy. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. I can just go into, yeah, okay. So I can just see the end. Man, let's run it again. I think I saved it. Can not run Jake's boot? So, mm. Pretty please. <laughs> oh, let's see here. So, um, uh, yes, <laughs> I feel so right. Okay, so get owner name for environment. Repositories. Um, I'll just use my get credentials. So it's my username. Uh, do you have paid subscription? Uh. <laughs> Robby log. Let's see. Uh, two months not able to webhooks deploy repository. Uh, all all Robby lock. It's all me. <laughs> like my current Helm version is not supported, so I need to use Helm v two. Um. I think I used uh hot brew how to well how to downgrade how let's see let's read this. I might have to install Tiller. Yeah. Let's see, homebrew remove package. I use brew to do it. Now oh, let's see. Uninstall. Okay, so brew. So I'll just do brew uninstall helm. Do remove helm. Okay, so I'll say brew to install helm two.
just a brew install um, at two. <laughs> Always with the homebrew install. Let's see. Okay, good. That's the version I want then. So, you're right. Close these out. I'm back to the boot. And home version. I don't have to start a new terminal, so let's see. And maybe if I start a new one. I didn't like that. Oh, ha, well, we'll just do that. Well, let's cheat. We'll cheat again. Why do I like it? Version to install. <laughs> Let's go to the Helm docs. Let's go to version two. Uh, using Helm, installing Helm. <laughs> Brew install Kubernetes Helm. Was there something else? I, I, this is my fault, so <laughs> I, uh, let me make sure it's, okay, it's a Kubernetes song. okay, 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 um, this is why the downgrade portion of it, oh, no, this is not what I want. All right, I'm gonna pause the video and see how I can downgrade. Let's see, brew uninstall. She will just command is run. And if I want this version of Helm, uh, quick start. I'm not gonna pause the video. Where is it?
Pause video. So I figured out what I did wrong. Um, actually, there's a pretty good Medium article uh, about keeping both. I actually just decided to delete uh, Helm V3 because I wasn't using it. So I'll go ahead and put this in my in my notes here so we can reference that uh, a little bit later. And so we should be able to be, if I say Helm version. Okay, good. I should have a version. Uh, version to um now i do know that i have to write um if the error i was getting was around helm v2 pretty sure i need to get tiller installed also so uh we'll run we'll run the installation um if i'm pretty sure uh, i'm gonna need to run helm init also let me show us the command Uh, but we'll see, we'll see what needs to happen. So if we go back um, into our, uh, we'll just run film in it right now. Eh, this is fine. So CD documents, C blog, C D Jenkins. Okay, C D. Uh, let's see. So let's see how version maybe. <laughs> sure, why not? Uh yeah, so it looks like Tiller uh, has been installed. Uh let's take a look at the steps again. So if I go to um, it's now we have to run G, GK boot again. And I have to see the into just taking notes here. Dun, dun, dun. share with everybody so hopefully this works <laughs> with tiller v2 uh, that's installing let's see Boot, 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 boot. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so this is kind of unsecure. We're just going to get it as quickly as possible. Which is... <laughs> which is too... <laughs> which is too new. Your package emergency recovery was earlier than one point. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, well, let's go ahead and make note of that. So, install Helm V2, uh, remove kubectl and install earlier version. Back to the answer box. So, kubectl. Keep it all installed, bro. <laughs> so we need to remove kubectl and then install a earlier version of it. So bro. Brewer keeps it all. Uh, 
let's see. We can, well, ignore dependencies. Yeah, that's true. It's required for those two things. It said I want a version. Adios. <laughs> Uh, let's see, so... I'm just reading some articles. Uh, it's a specific version. Okay, we can <laughs> we can certainly go through that. And so let's just add add that. Just prep this real quickly. Then let's see. History of changes keeps the formula. It's not working. How old is this? Oh, I'll be too old. form of the folder <laughs> this is what we <laughs> oh boy. Um, it's funny.
that's one person wrong. Um, you know what? We'll just do this. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's see what the version is. <laughs> so. <clears throat> so I want sixteen point eight. So okay, so. Okay, so we have cube cuddle and we'll just run that. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Already there. Yeah.
<lacht> Aho. Try this again. Maybe I missed this one up. Oh, I didn't have the Darwin. Ah, oh, I see what it means. It's my fault. And it was just now. Cool. Okay. Uh, so let's let's go back. Um, so we have that. Let's clean this up a little bit. So can I now say Continue, continue, continue. Uh, you know what? You know what? <laughs> I, I just reinstalled kubectl, so I don't have, I don't have what I need. Let me, let me pause the video real quick. Back to the cluster, and so, I think the reason why that didn't happen was I need to re-inject cube config, yeah, back into it. Um, let's see, let's just call it cube CTL news phase. Oh. I always forget the namespace command. Oh, get namespace. There we are, so silly. Yeah. All right, cool. Ah, Jack, well, Jack doesn't even spin, so it looks like we, we tried to install it before. Yeah, let's just get that. Should we get the name space? Run JX boot, okay. Let's, let's run JX boot one more time. Let's, let's, let's make sure. Yeah, we're in the right folder. Yes. Oh, I can't see it again. Now, so have my fancy EKS.
Let's have to look like, what's your name? Oh, uh, my fancy EKS. Okay, so let's make sure that. <laughs> make sure it matches there. Yeah, let's. Try it again. So let's run it again. Feeling close. Sure. Oh. My fancy EKS. Excuse me, did it, change, did it update this on its own? Sure. Ah! Do, do I need to have... <laughs> Can I cluster not have uppercase? There's a problem calling. Well, we can we can try to do a delete command. Yeah, we can. yeah let's see here. Let's see. So if it's if it's space if it's uh, space sensitive. Ah, I don't know why it keeps. How can I set? Okay, so now we know. <laughs> if I were to give this, did I mess? So <laughs> it can't be. Something in the script. Let's look back at how this matters to me. Provide. I wonder where. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna delete the cluster and create it with all lowercase. Um, 
So this would be interesting. So I'll go ahead and delete it. Looks so what we're taking a look at here. It's pass. It's somehow it's passing in the name of my cluster configuration. You know, I, even if I override the cluster name well, with the appropriate, this might be a bug. Might have to report this one. <laughs> uh, it actually does not like it. So we have to have to downgrade my home version. Have to downgrade my kubectl version. Have to reinject the cube config. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and delete the cluster and make it all lowercase. So let's just get that process started so that might take, oh, well, I should have done it up here. Uh, it might take a few moments. So go ahead and pause the video there and uh, I'll come back with the new created cluster. Okay, so I <clears throat> started deleting a cluster. Um, actually looks like it's been deleted um, or it's in the process of being, deleting, uh, being deleted. Uh, so in the meantime, we can just go ahead and make another cluster uh, when that is getting created or deleted. Uh, so let's go ahead and make another cluster. So I'll put this in the helper section. I like using EKSCTL, so I'll call one called deploy to me. Um, similar size in stature. Go ahead and get that. Get that out there in the wild. Uh, and then uh, just gonna kind of just wait, um, kind of return to the video uh, after the cluster has been done, uh, and then yeah, start back some of the steps. Should be a little bit quicker. Uh, the second go, uh, we don't necessarily have to um, go back and uninstall a few things. So instead of my fancy case, it's going to be deploy to me. Let's make sure. This is all okay, sure. We have that uh, get created and I'll uh, be back. It's a little bit later in the evening and the uh, EKS cluster is up. I actually took a quick little break for dinner. Uh, so let's take a look. So my cluster's up. Uh, let's go ahead and wire everything that we do need. So let's just go back and double check our steps here. Uh, so the first thing you want to do to make sure I'm able to communicate with the cluster. I'll just run the kubectl get namespace command. Make sure the namespace comes up. Perfect. Uh, next thing I want to do, I want to run hello minute uh, just to make sure um, that we have tiller uh, coming up in that. So we can actually make sure we run the namespace again. Uh, we should get a tiller namespace uh, in a little bit when that comes up. Uh, we can wait. For Go ahead and uh, not wait for that though. So we can just make sure we run home version. Or home version. Okay, cool. So it looks like it's uh, Tiller. Tiller's actually up there. The client server came back. And yeah, lastly, make sure we need to run anything else. I have Helm. I have an older version of TL. Uh, that's fine. Uh, let's look at our requirements. Uh, let's just call it my environment. So you can see. Fair enough. Uh, let's go ahead and replace that. Make sure that our configuration is code is all lined up. Let's make sure we're getting rid of all references to the old name. Uh, these look good to me. And so let's go ahead and just go ahead and kick it off. Let's see, GX boot. Uh, sure. <laughs> So it looks like we're getting far, further now. Uh, looks like our CloudFormation stack, I guess you look at the CloudFormation stack. Uh, CloudFormation, should have been one created. Jenkins, uh, there it is. 
our particular <clears throat> line policy snack. Let's go back to the EKS cluster. Uh, actually, in between the filming, it uh, looks like now Amazon supports uh, EKS or <laughs> Kubernetes 1.15. I'll update that in our uh, scripting that we use here uh, to make sure when you uh, go to start it, you get the latest version up on there. Let's see what's what's going on. So while, while the CloudFormation stack is executing, um, uh, let's see what needs to happen. How do I access the UI? Um, let's see, bucket repo. I don't know if I, does it install Nexus? So yes, <laughs> I am looking for a UI. Um, if you're looking for a UI, there's one available on the Cloud Vision. It should normally work on OSS Jenkins X as well. The Cloud Vision ones are for us using. Uh, using. So when this installs. Looks like their installation strategy is changing. Uh, let's let's take a look. Actually, not sure what this is. Um, so UI for Jenkins X is under technical preview. Um, So we can add run JX boot and helper methods. Not sure. JX add app command. J JX is the Reminds me of like Halyard <laughs> for Spinnaker. Uh, it's their administration. Let's see if that has finished. That was all going for. JX. I guess it comes with Valero, not too sure. Yeah, I guess it's tools about to back up. <laughs> Let's call it username would be admin be Ravi, password would be Ravi1234, pipeline bot. Oh, let's use mine. I button but get token. Uh, 
Don't know. <laughs> Let's see if it gets you up. Tim can now perform operations in an environment. Okay, so generate a token. I don't know if this is gonna work. Uh, this is for Jenga text. Keep it up there. Hope to leads us token uh, when we're through with it. Well, let's generate a token. Uh, before we do that, though. Make sure we have. Jenkins, Ron Jenkins. Uh, and your external Docker registry. We'll just use Docker Hub. <laughs> so, Docker Hub. You're all. I actually might have to cheat. <laughs> go to go to harness uh, because we do have it kind of pre-configured. We'll just look at our training account we have here that we give to our new students. Um, the connector. Uh, that's what I need. <laughs> the V2 address. All right. Oh. oh. I don't think it does. Um, on authenticated. I use my Docker crops. Oh my goodness gracious. What's going through? Sorry. Still letting. Should it come through a chart? Thank you. 
still installing. <laughs> it looks like it's actually creating repositories for me. I go back to GitHub. Haha, <laughs> it looks like they're coming up. I give us a quick pause right here. All right, great. Looks like all of the processes came up. It didn't take too much longer. It made several repositories um, in my repo, and it said everything looks good. Okay. And so the next item that I want to do, if you take a look at uh, the items that we wanted want to take a look at, I have a few repositories here. Um, let's see here. Ch -ch 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 what would be the next step? Well, yeah, I want to see if I can install a UI, a UI at least. Um, you know, <laughs> see if we can't get one to, to come up. Yeah, let's, I'm just going to try this. <laughs> Go for gold uh, for command line by using JX that command. Get ops, cloud, updates your deployment, merges UI to dub. No, you don't get it. I actually don't know if I have it enabled. Okay, I was going to prepare to do it. Just for some port. And not terribly sure. There we use port forwarding. T -t 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 -t. Huh, you see, let's see. Well, it comes up a lot of stuff. <laughs> you know, hopefully this this monitor is not private, so you can kind of see. Might be a little bit of a security thing. Uh, I'll make sure to go and delete <laughs> all of these when uh, when I'm finished. Uh, yeah, let's see what it does. Just need UI. Just need UI. So we will do that. Um, go back to the pull request tab in your dev repository.
Oh. Let the merge. Put these both here. Close the home. That looks like we merged my pull request. Do they sort of it? Looks like uh, we're get offing right here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me try the command again. See what comes up. Eh, nah, nah. Still gonna wait. Added some notes. <laughs> Still not out. I'm not sure why that would take, but we can. I think I closed the Jenkins X documentation. Just doing some research. Just, I don't know. Mm. Okay. It looks like it came up in another browser, so. Bring it over here. <laughs> so we have Jenkins X. We have Bills. <laughs> so it's like this wrapping. Um, <laughs> this is the UI build that we have here. Uh, Refer project. Oh, looks like you left. 
Not the tool. Here, here's our three branches that we do have here. Okay, so it looks like a build <laughs> showed up. Um, is that the, okay, maybe create a quick start. Uh, Maybe this one is one that we can use. Ah, looks like that one is the port forwarder one now. So we'll use one at the top. Let me make sure the quick folder. Uh, see what kind of quick starts. What kind of quick starts we, we do have here um, for HTTP? Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at what the quick starts. Uh, that we have available. React, Node, Spring Boot, Golang, Rollout. Dlang, Python. And Maybe one with the most stars might, you know, just, just at least say it works. Python, HTTP, Python works. You know what? We'll just, we'll just go with Go. How about that? Uh, sure. Oh. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do this again, rank another token. I swear. <laughs> Got a quick. So it looks like items are coming across if we take a look at um, our distribution URL. Looks like uh, a new build is coming across. If you look at the projects. Quick start. Clean some of this up. <laughs> Our tokens are done. Um, we're finished with that. Uh, let's just look back at. Our repositories. And the quick start. No, just something simple. Ah, 
<laughs> Let me watch. Watch pipeline activity. Make sure we document all this correctly. So. <laughs> uh, I think I use the Things failed. Not terribly sure. Maybe the UI might get if you go back to the UI. Let's see. Is it builds? Is the build still going on? Oh. Um, it's gonna be a lot of steps. We got <laughs> this uh, pipeline is code. Lots of even the pipeline has to install first. Um, not not too sure. But this, this is my first time going through it. Happy to watch and learn uh, what's going on here. Uh, there's all the steps and. This kind of as is going going through this list that's reflecting, so everything yeah, true, 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 get off the model, everything has to happen happen and get. Uh, I did to do some basic tasks. Um like I think there was uh there was quick starts for me here. Um to I mean, execute basic tasks and to create some sort of structure. Uh we could like actually go through it and see what's you know, we have one here, Jenkins X. Up uh, here's our pipeline. We'd have to create that. Uh, also, the Docker file. It's not too bad. Um, this is supposed to be 880. Not terrible. Make file. Oh, this is just for the good stuff. And. Just going through the configuration items that were just generated you know, for us. Still going on. Deployed or where? Where it actually? I want to call a quick start. Let's see. Oh, well, this is the Fulton says. Uh, we didn't have anything. Does it go into the GX thing space? Hmm. Thank you. 
fill. I <laughs> know that documentation. Oh, move that. Yeah, if the if the, <laughs> if the container build failed or well the image build failed, I think it would absolutely fail. Um, this is a failure, so I guess I wouldn't. The men so the pipeline is just making the art of the the pipeline artifacts it needs and the release actually going through and doing the release for me. Mm. So that actually failed. Not terribly sure why. No. Eh. That's fine. Can't grab the log. I think this is as far as I want to get of Jenkins X. You know, I think a lot of the struggle is getting it installed. Um, you know, I'm trying to think anything else I could do. Demos, recorded talks, created cluster. Yeah, keep calling demo. Very meta. James, what did you use? I wonder if the audio has come through. Stracken. Oh, it's, just, it's the same video. <laughs> oh no. Uh, close documentation. Um, you know, we can definitely see what this takes to do. How long this will take to do actually in a harness account. Let's take a look at uh, the harness console. Pretty sure it's for to log into, uh, you know, as a SaaS. <laughs> I don't have to worry about um, installing the bits. Uh, I'll kind of keep this on the side. You know, I am proud that <laughs> at least I was able to get the UI. Uh, here's our our particular cluster and uh, our Jenkins X side. The Jenkins X side. Let's go ahead and close it. Uh, let's go. Let's go see how long it takes. So um, this is a pretty bare bones. This is our community edition uh, for Harness. Doesn't take too much. I don't have actually anything set up. Um, the first thing that you need to do is actually install one of the worker nodes, uh, which is a delegate. Uh, we'll go ahead and install uh, the Kubernetes YAML uh, that we need. Uh, we'll go ahead and just call this, you know, um, hello Jenkins X. Uh, no, no profile. Uh, go ahead and click submit. We'll go ahead and download. If I just go to my downloads folder, which will be the last thing we downloaded, I'll just go ahead and put it um, in the same directory that we had for Jenkins X here. Go ahead and untar the thing. I always like to clean up my name. So picky. Uh, which is pretty straightforward. Um, actually gives us the cube couple command that we have to run. So. Let's go ahead and see the into that folder. I think we're we're done with that. Um, the harness still yet. Now go ahead and run the kubectl command. And that should be all we have to do. If we come back into the readme, uh, we can kind of watch the pod start here. So it looks like it should be starting uh, momentarily.
I wonder if the cluster has space. Uh, it would have been on on placed work. Ah, there it is. Perfect. So it's starting up. I know we. I made a smaller cluster. Yeah, I'm not sure. Got uh, the Jenkins X stuff that was applied on top of it, but eh, better better than recreating uh, the cluster. We can go ahead and reuse uh, what we had. Uh, perfect. So just like that, we're actually connected. Um, should be pretty straightforward for us to go ahead and uh, do a deployment. Um, you know, all we have to do is add our Kubernetes endpoints. If we go to cloud providers, actually here was one from another lab. I'll just go ahead and delete that. Let me start over. Um, I'll be adding a Kubernetes cluster. I'll just be calling this my Kubernetes cluster. And here, let's go ahead and do something. Uh, you know, that will help fast pass this. I'm going to actually inherit the details of the Kubernetes cluster from the running delegate, which is running inside of Kubernetes. Um, I'm just going to be using hello Jenkins X here. Uh, give it a little test. Looks like it works. Click submit. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and just make, make an application. If you go to setup, add an application, we'll just call this hello world. We'll go ahead and just add all the bits and pieces. Uh, the service that we're going to add, let's just have this uh, just be Nginx, Nginx, the Kubernetes based deployment. Uh, the only artifact we're going to be adding, uh, let's say from a Docker registry, from our default Docker hub, let's be library Nginx. Go ahead, click submit. Uh, we, sh we actually give you. Uh, the scaffolding that you need if you agree with that, how we do it or you can override these but for now i think this will be more than appropriate you know, for our example um let's go ahead and just make sure we make an environment let's call this our dev environment call it dev say it's non-prod we'll go ahead and just wire through our Kubernetes cluster so we'll just call it and what did i call this cluster deploy to me Deploy zone. Uh, it's going to be a Kubernetes cluster. It's going to be Kubernetes. Uh, we actually have one that we already have wired up. Uh, only say not to use the default namespace, but for example, we'll use our default namespace. Should be pretty straightforward. Uh, lastly, all we have to do to wire up now is create a workflow. Uh, since we don't have a workflow, let's just call it go for gold. Uh, a workflow type. Uh, we're going to actually be doing a rolling deployment uh, into our dev environment. We go ahead and deploy into next and use our deploy zone we just made there. That uh, click submit it should be should be good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and just click deploy. Uh, we'll pick yeah. There's a new version of Nginx is out there. <laughs> Domination notification severely. Click submit and let's. Let's see deployment in action. Um, we didn't have to configure much configuration as code. Uh, you know, it's everything is kind of given forth to us as convention. Um, and we were actually uh, just like that. We were able to do a very quick rolling deployment. Now we could have just as easily done a canary deployment, um, given if we had uh, some health checks and uh, judgment calls uh, to kind of wire in. But uh, that was pretty much it. Um, still, still not too sure why this didn't work um but you know if, if anybody's watching the video has uh, some more pointers uh, for me would love to learn um i think i got as far as installing jenkins x getting the ui to come up um you know everything everything's running inside of this particular cluster here so jenkins x ui uh, the harness delegate this deployment to just went through uh is running in there uh and uh, yeah, I'd love to learn. Um, yeah, feel free to take Harness uh, for a spin to uh, make a comparison for yourself. And uh, with further ado, uh, cheers, Ravi.